everyone, welcome to Cricket Next and today I have got a question for you all. Have you thought of someone playing for 20 years with career coming to an end and then bouncing back? This is a fairy tale, isn't it? But this is actually the story of Indian wicketkeeper batter Dinesh Karthik. Definitely, Dinesh Karthik has surprised a lot of people in cricket fraternity and also cricket fans. So let's have a look at his incredible journey, which is nothing short of a roller coaster ride. Karthik made his debut in 2004 and is one of the strongest contenders to play in 2022 T20 World Cup in Australia. And that too, not as an opener or a middle order batter, as a finisher. Who would have thought that a wicketkeeper batter who made his debut before MS Dhoni will play at the toughest spots in the shortest format of the game? Karthik played his first ODI match in 2004 against England at Lords. He made his test debut in October 2004 in the match between Australia and India in Mumbai. Dinesh Karthik had actually replaced Parthiv Patel because Patel was dropped from the team for his poor wicketkeeping. That's how Karthik got this role. But Karthik managed to score only 14 runs in two innings and got two catches. But he was highly praised for his wicket-keeping skills. That too on a pitch that had variable bounce and spin. And where 40 wickets fell in just two days. Dinesh Karthik then got chance in ICC Champions Trophy in 2004 in Kenya before he was replaced by Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Karthik managed to get three catches but did not get any spot in the team until 2006, which means from 2004 to 2006, Karthik did not play even a single ODI match. Dhoni scored 148 against Pakistan in an ODI and after that, he replaced Karthik in the three tests at home against Sri Lanka. Dinesh Karthik actually had a very average run in first 10 tests after his debut. He managed to score only 245 runs at an average of 18.84. He scored only one half century and after that he became a backup option of Mahindra Singh Dhoni. He was also recalled in November 2006 for test series but as a backup wicketkeeper batter. And then Karthik went on to play international matches on and off but it was not hitting for Karthik. In 2008, he was again recalled in the test team for Sri Lanka when MS Dhoni took a sabbatical due to fatigue. In December 2009, Karthik was recalled to the ODI team when Mahindra Singh Dhoni was banned after the second match in Sri Lankan tour due to low over rates. Karthik came to the team, he kept wickets in his hand and also scored unbeaten 32 and 19 in two matches, which helped India to successfully chase the target and win the series. But Karthik was dropped off even after that match. But in 2013, Dinesh Karthik was again recalled to the team for ICC Champions Trophy. Karthik played really well in domestic season and had great IPL season as well. That's why he got the spot in ICC Champions Trophy squad. Dinesh Karthik also scored back-to-back -back centuries in practice matches, but again he was dropped from the team after that. It was such an on and off journey for Dinesh Karthik that nobody knew where his journey is actually going. Now let's talk about Nidha's trophy because that's something very special to DK. Dinesh Karthik was called to the Indian squad in 2018 for Nidhahas Trophy, the Tri-Nation series. In that series, MS Dhoni was rested and that's how Karthik got his spot. In the finale match against Bangladesh, Dinesh Karthik came at the spot where 34 runs were needed in two overs. Dinesh Karthik just assaulted Bangladeshi team with his fury batting skills. He scored a 6 on the last ball which required 5 runs. And that's how India lifted the trophy because DK was the match winner. In 2019, Karthik was called to the Indian squad for 2019 ICC World Cup. But the Tamil Nadu cricketer had a very forgettable run in the tournament. Although he played his 150th international match for India on 6 July against Sri Lanka, but his run in the tournament was really below average. And because of that, he was dropped from both T20 and ODI teams. But then after came turning point for Dinesh Karthik. 
Dinesh Karthik replaced his bat with a mic in 2021. He became the commentator for India vs England series and after that on March 2021 the official broadcasters of England and Wales cricket both the Sky Sports announced him as the commentator for the 100 as well. After that, Dinesh Karthik was also named as one of the two Indians for ICC's on-ground commentary panel for World Test Championship Finale, the inaugural season of World Test Championship Finale that happened between India and New Zealand in Southampton. Post that, Dinesh Karthik also did commentary in England vs Sri Lanka series. But after that, something happened. Cricket experts and pundits started to think that it's over for Dinesh Karthik. The batting career, the wicket keeping career, everything is over because now Dinesh Karthik is a full time commentator. And Dinesh Karthik got huge, huge support as a commentator as well. People used to wait for his match weather reports during the ICC inaugural World Test Championship finale. But DK had his own plans. He did not stop at that point. He became a finisher. Karthik knew that it was really impossible to get into the Indian squad as an opener or a middle order batter. So he took up the role of a finisher. Imagine a cricketer who made his debut 18 years back thinking of becoming a finisher, the most challenging task in the 20 format. But Dinesh had a great run in the domestic matches and that's how he got picked up by Royal Challengers Bangalore in 2022 IPL. Dinesh Karthik had his job clear in mind. He never wanted to score the maximum runs or he never wanted orange cap. He just wanted to finish matches for the team. He did the job and how? Karthik made 330 runs in 16 matches for RCB at an average of 55 with a remarkable strike rate of 183.33. He not only knocked at Indian selectors door but rammed it with his performances. Dinesh Karthik was phenomenal in Indian Premier League and talking about his selection in the Indian squad, he again got recalled for the nth time to the Indian team. He made his comeback for the South African series of India. He scored his first half century 16 years after his T20 cricket debut. He scored his half century in the third T20 against South Africa. And after that, he also got selected for the Ireland tour. And since then, Dinesh Karthik is a name which always goes on trending list every time he comes on the field. Dinesh Karthik's journey has been just phenomenal. He is now one of the strongest contenders for ICC T20 World Cup in Australia for the finisher's role. But a career like this, which came near to its end many a times, has found its spark again. There are very few rare cricketers who have a career trajectory like this. Maybe it's the last hurrah for Dinesh Karthik, but he's making it sure to go out with a bang. Dinesh Karthik's journey has been really great. Let us know what you think about his journey and Dinesh Karthik's skills in the comments section. Well, a career trajectory like this is very rare, but we would like to know from you that what do you think about DK and his probable place in T20 World Cup.